brought to you by E3 Spark Plugs. Born to burn. Hey, now it's time for letters. Now I want to remind you to like us at facebook.com slash motors TV and to follow us at twitter.com slash motors. And also check out our website at motors.tv where we've got a rides button right there on the homepage. Click that and you can enter to win a cover from Covercraft by just sending us pictures of your ride to have it featured on our Facebook page. Now let's get to our first letter. This letter comes from Drake. He says, hey Chris, love the show. I found it while looking for car shows through my smart TV apps and then subscribed to your podcast and iTunes to watch all of the seasons. I really like how you've stayed in your two car garage using common hand tools. You have shown me that those big jobs are possible without taking my cars to the shop. Would you please do a show on changing the spark plugs on a 2005 Ford F-150? I think you might just happen to have one of those available. Mine is a 5.4 liter and has 140,000 miles. I have kept up with most of the maintenance myself. The only thing I have not done is change the plugs. That's right, 140,000 with original plugs. I've heard so many horror stories about changing the plugs on this truck that I've neglected to do it myself. I've been told that it can cost upwards of $400 to have it done at the shop, which is ridiculous for changing a set of plugs. The F-150 forums are all over the place with methods, so it would be great to see you do it on the air. Keep up the great work. Well, thanks for the letter, Drake. We are gonna demonstrate the use of this tool right here uh, on our F-150, as well as our S-197 Mustang. They use the same plugs. It's part number E3.70 from E3 Spark Plugs. We've got 16 of them right here that we've got to install. And the tool that we're gonna use should we get into any trouble is this one right here. We picked it up from Sears. It's a Lyle, and the part number is 65600. And that's exactly what it's for. It's a broken spark plug removal tool. So stay tuned. We're gonna show you how to use this bad boy on our F-150, as well as our Mustang. Our next letter comes from Cole Helm. He's one of our Facebook fans. He says, hey Chris, which one of the Fords is your daily driver and what's the criteria for picking the parts you install in your project vehicles? Is it based on reviews, budget, other specifics, or just whichever company wants to give you their product for TV? Well, thanks for your letter, Cole. Now the 2005 F-150 is my daily driver. It's my third Ford truck. And I wouldn't give that thing up for anything in the world outside of a Raptor. Are you listening for it? So as far as uh, the products that we feature on this show, well, it's just whatever we're going to do to that project vehicle. We'll contact the manufacturer and see if they want to play with us. Or sometimes we have a manufacturer that contacts us and they become a sponsor and then we got to find a vehicle. So that's why sometimes we kind of go outside of our project vehicles and you might see another vehicle on the show. Thanks again, Cole. And our last letter today is from Anson Keller. He writes, can you recommend a Craftsman floor jack for lifting my 2005 GM Sierra? Thanks. Well, Anson, we use this bad boy right here. Part number 50244. It's a Craftsman Professional three ton aluminum floor jack. And what I really love about this thing is it's low profile in the front here, allows us to get it underneath any of our vehicles, even our lowered ones. It's lightweight, it's easy to move around, it gives us the height that we need, and it's easy to break down if we need to take it somewhere for traveling. So thanks for your question. You can check it out at Sears.com or head on over to your local Sears store and talk to those guys. Now I want to thank you for sending in your letter. You guys all get free E3 spark plugs for your vehicle. Now find out if they're available for your vehicle or learn more about their diamond fire technology. Just head on over to E3SparkPlugs.com.